is the full Monty, better known as Monty Morris. I'm the full Monty of natural hair, meaning the naked truth of natural hair. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. My salon is called the Full Monty Natural Lights. Natural lights come from, it's a term that I have originated because when women were going natural, they called themselves naturalistas, which isolated men and boys, and we're all natural, so we're a natural community. It's like the Israelites with the natural lights, so it's inclusive of everyone, as opposed to segregating women from men. I specialize in everything natural, braids, weaves, and things. Today I'll be talking about in my class, um, to be natural, fact and fiction. There's a lot of myths out here that needs to be busted. There's a lot of things that women think in going natural that they can and cannot do. So I'm here to teach you the difference between textures and wave patterns. You know, we talk about hair numbers, which is another way to kind of like isolate. Um, what happened to me, well, what I think happened is that when women started to go natural, people looked for a way to capitalize on that. So I'm here to help you women who are wanting to transition, to teach them how to healthy transition, what they can and cannot do, whether or not to lock or not to lock, you know, to lock or not to lock, do the big chop or not. I, what I found is that a lot of women go back to relaxers because they don't know what proper products to use on their hair. They don't know how to do a shampoo and go. You call it a wash and go, you don't wash hair, you wash clothes, you shampoo hair. So, you know, it's just, that, even that teach you correct terminology so that when you are talking to a professional, you'll know what you're speaking of and how to talk to get the best results. Throughout the years, I found that women felt like they had to do a big chop in order to cut off, I mean, in order to go natural. They found, I found that women also thought they had to braid in order to go natural. They just didn't really know their options and what their options were. They, a lot of times, like I said, used incorrect terminology, which made it a language barrier between them and the stylist. Um, I find that women just didn't really know what their hair was capable of doing or not doing. Another myth to me is that if I'm going natural, then this product is supposed to work for me because it worked for my sister and we are both going natural and she has the same type of hair pattern than I do. Don't live out your neighbor's backyard. That is not true. It's not true because what's good for me may not be good for you. We all have different wave patterns and textures throughout, the whole, throughout our whole head. You understand? So I find that that sometimes um, made women just unclear as to what they're able to do. A lot of women like two strand twists, but if you have a relaxed portion of your hair and you have a natural portion of your hair, I can two strand twist it, but it's not going to look as if it's not going to look the same as if your hair was all natural. So therefore, we can, do, we can do that, but we may have to rod the tips in order to give it more of a consistency and make it where it's going to stay. You understand? I don't have to cut off all your hair. You don't have to, you don't have to do the big chop, because the big chop takes strength, courage, and wisdom. It does. Um, although I find that when women do the big chop, it's more liberating for them. It's freeing. Um, I also like to educate women as to when you have relaxed and you have natural, the natural portion is going to always win. There's going to be a battle between your tresses. The natural portion, the relaxed portion, and the relaxed portion is going to shed and break off, regardless of how much you treat it, regardless of how much you do, because the natural portion is so strong. And it's like, it's like 300. You know what I'm saying? The natural portion is going to win, period. Consult a professional. Stop getting on YouTube looking at your favorite vlogger and thinking your vlogger it got, has all the answers. And the reason I say that is because you do not know if these people are licensed. You do not know how long they've been dealing with natural tresses. You do not know um, how long they've been doing this certain style on their hair. See, natural hair is all about training it. You don't know if they've been doing this style on their hair for six months and their hair is trained to be that way. That's why the hair pattern, the twist out looks so good. All you see is the ending result. And you judge your texture and you judge what you're supposed to have according to what their ending result is. And it's not going to always come out the same. Because again, natural hair is all about training it. When you first start going natural, you, if, okay, it depends. If you're going to go natural using your natural tresses, you don't want to add any hair to your hair, then your styles are always going to be limited. You're going to have to basically use a lot of rods because rods is going to be able to be conducive to the smooth part, which is the silky smooth, the relaxed part of the tresses. Your natural portion is going to always 
give you that good curl pattern. It's going to give you that good wave pattern. But because of the fact that it's not um, the same, rods is just rods are going to be your friend. You know, a lot of people like the coils. The coils is just a curl. You can do straw sets. You can do anything that's going to give you a natural, going to achieve a natural looking curl pattern. It's not going to be what your curl pattern is going to be once you become completely natural. You understand? But it is going to give you a way, and a, and a, um, yeah, a way to learn your tresses as they grow out and to learn the do's and don'ts of what your tresses are capable of and what they're not capable of as they grow out. You can do two, you can do flat twists, you can do two strand twists, but again, as I said, you have to put what? The rod at the end of it. But there are plenty of options that you can. Now, if you want to add hair to your tresses, whether it's human hair or synthetic fiber, you will, your styles are then unlimited because it's going to protect the ends of your hair. Wrap it up, okay? Wrap it till you can't wrap it, wrap it no more. I always state, first of all, the bonnet is the devil. Why I say the bonnet is the devil? Because what you're trying to do when you put on the bonnet is protect your tresses and protect your style. The only way you can protect your style is if your style is super glued to your head. But a lot of people feel like, once I wake up in the morning and my style is just matted to my head or it's stuck to my head and I gotta, you know, run my hands through it in order for it to revive. Well, you gotta do that whether you put on the bonnet or you put on a do-rag or you put on a silk scarf. You have to do that anyway. But the bonnet is giving you, the bonnet is giving you false hope because of the fact that it's making you feel as if it's going to keep your style maintained. But it's still a bubble right here. And everything under this bubble is moving. So as you're sleeping and tossing and turning, it's moving and tossing and turning. So when you wake up in the morning, the curl that was right here is now over here. The only thing that is going to keep um, close to your scalp is the perimeter, where that band is. That's why I say the bond is the devil. But you still want to, whether you are natural, going natural, transitioning, you want to wrap your head up. You want to oil the ends of your hair. Oil is meant to protect and coat your tresses, especially the ends of your tresses. You also want to get your ends clipped, okay? Not every six months. I mean, not every three months. Maybe once to twice a year, if you are conditioning and oiling your tresses properly. If you, if you trim your ends every three months, what are you growing? If your hair grows a half an inch or fourth to a half an inch every month or so, what are you, what are you, what are you growing? You don't see growth that way. So one, trims are important and vital. Wrapping your, 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 your hair is important and vital. And oiling and properly conditioning are important and vital. Those are the three main things that you want to do. Okay. One more thing, hydration, 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 hydration. Okay, the best way to get hydration, but I think the first thing we need to discuss is what's the difference between moisture and hydration? Because a lot of people say, I want my hair to look moisturized. But moisture is nothing but water. You don't want your hair to be moisturized. You want it to be hydrated, which means it's able to keep in the water molecule, but look moisturized, which to us means shiny and silky, and, and that's, what we, that's what we relate to as natural, um, healthy hair, is when it's shiny and silky. That's what we relate to moisture. But it's really meaning that your hair is holding hydration when your tresses are, are um, healthy. So that's what it is, and a hydration machine is a, it's a blessing to you. Whether you get one tabletop or the professional, you need to make sure you hydrate your tresses and you know, put that oil and the conditioner on and put, put it under the hydration machine. The hydration machine is going to bust the hair follicle open, bust the cuticle layer of the hair open and allow those products and proteins and nutrients to deeply penetrate inside the hair follicle and inside of the cuticle layer of the hair. So when you go back and shan I mean, rinse it out, you're going to rinse it out with cool water because yes, your mama, your grandmama, your great-grandmama was right. When you put that cool water on your tresses and on your hair follicle, it's going to close and seal up the cuticle layer, which is going to hold in that, high, that moisture, which is water, and the proteins, and it's going to seal it, which is going to give you that shine and that sheen to your tresses. I don't mind you using different brands. I don't mind you testing because, what, again, what worked for your sister ain't gonna work for you. So you may have gotten this product because your sister said, oh, I use Miss Jess's. And you're like, oh, well, okay, well, it did that for you. It's gonna do that for me. And then you put it on your hair and it doesn't do the same thing for your tresses that it did for her. Product lines are made to be used together. The shampoo is made to balance the condition. I mean, the condition is made to balance the shampoo. And, and the products, like the promes and the styling aids that they 
put in their line, it's made to balance and, and, and to go in, 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 I mean, and go in order. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to use Talia Gwajia shampoo and you want to use Miss Jessie's conditioner and then go use um, some uh, Jane, Jane, Jane um, uh, styling aid because you're not really getting the best out of the product line. Now, I'm not saying that everything is cooker cutter. I'm not saying that it's going to always work that way. You may find that, Ms. J that Jane Carter's um, styling aids work best for your hair, for your shampoo and go. But to Leah's line and her shampoo and conditioner you love, okay, that's fine. But you have to give it more than one try. Read is fundamental, not for the mental. You understand? So read the product ingredients to its completion. A lot of times what we do is we turn on our mental tape, we read some of it and we're like, oh, I know what this is going to do. And don't finish completely reading it and then it don't work for us. Then we're mad at the product and we're saying it's the product line when it's a user error. I'm going to need you to read the whole thing. And that's the way that you don't become a product junkie. If you feel like this line is not working for you, you've used it three or four times and it doesn't work, then you, you donate it and then bless somebody else with it before you go move on to something else. That way you don't have all these products in your cabinets and don't really know what to do with them. What I will say is people say that alcohol, people, um, products with alcohol in it, but alcohol is a cleanser. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of alcohol um, within certain, I mean, certain shampoos because it's a cleanser, especially like your stimulating shampoos or your, your cleansing shampoos, which is made to strip the hair of all of its natural moistures and oils and product buildup and stuff like that. But you just have to come back with a moisturizing shampoo. So I'm not gonna necessarily down any type of product. I'm just gonna say there may be certain ingredients that you may find that don't work best for your, for your tresses and certain ingredients that work better. That people say when you lock, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to condition because locks hold everything, but that's because you don't completely rinse the. You don't really completely rinse the conditioner out. Locks take more rinsing than anything. When you are doing shampooing and you're rinsing natural hair or loose hair, whether it's natural and relaxed or transitioning, you have to rinse the hair like at least like five minutes because you want to make sure you're getting all that product out. You want to see that water run clear. And the same thing with locks. You just have to do it a little bit longer. It takes a lot more effort. That's why sometimes lock costs a lot more to maintain because it's a lot more effort to keep clean, to make sure you have no buildup, you know. So, yeah. I'm going to say consultations are very important. You, even if you don't plan to go to the stylist, you need to go get educated. Go get naturated is what I call it. Natrication is important because that's going to stop you from going back to being um, and going back into a relaxed state. Stop listening to your vloggers unless you do your research on that vlogger. You know, come to these hair shows, support these hair shows. So that you, and come, a lot of them come with free classes so that you're able to get naturated and knowing what direction to go. Write down your questions as you are re doing your research. Um, and, and just make sure that you go and, and just get the proper natrication. That's it. Know what, your, know what the ingredients is. Learn what your tresses are able to do. Don't judge your tresses and be so hard on yourself according to what someone else's tresses are able to do. You know, it's a journey and it's a beautiful one. Love it. Know that when you cut your tresses off, it's okay because it brings out your face. It, bring, it shows you who you really look like and who you are you know, and embrace it. And stop putting these relaxers in these babies' hair. Just for me, it's not just for her, okay? It is, it's not, it's just, and texturizers, like all of that, like I don't even understand. Like, when you press the hair out, it ages women, it ages little girls. Think about it, you have a little girl who's maybe like 10, you can take twins. One of them you press the hair out, the other one you put them in two pigtails. Who's gonna look more useful? Think about when a woman cuts her hair off and she starts going natural. It takes 10 years off her life because your hair is not really meant to be straight. That's why when you press it, she curls right back up because that's the natural state. That's what it wants to do. But you train it to be straight, it's going to be straight. Now you mad because you lost your, you, you compromised your curl pattern. I am on Instagram at at T as in the H as in so T as in the, F as in full, M as in Monty, Naturalites, N-A-T-U-R-A-L-I-T-E-S. 
Naturalites. Or you can, t you can get me at uh, www.tfmbrand.com or you can find me at 678-791-9142 or you can email me at tfmbrand at gmail.com.